Hello. Hi. Thank you for watching. Today, sometimes I like to make a video where I, you know, have a theory or, or, or there's something I really want to point out. Sometimes I have a, you know, a video where I have a question and, you know, it's bugging me and, and I, I want to ask people. And this is a video that I have a question. Now, they're Lisa Ann Frohn and Chris Kremers, both their cameras, not cameras, both their phones, one phone was a Galaxy, one phone was an iPhone. They were both roughly about 50% battery life when they began the trail on April 1st. Now, when I hear about 50% battery life, you know, I have a Samsung Galaxy. I, I, I forget what, what number it is, but it is a Samsung Galaxy. It, it's a pretty nice phone. And I tell you what, that battery doesn't last very long at all. I mean, that battery, that, that will go quick. I mean, just that battery lasting two days you know, um, even when I'm not making calls or, or using it very often, I mean, the battery uses. You know, one time I was taking a walk, and it was pretty cold outside. It was it was probably about zero degrees, and I was taking a walk, and I had my cell phone. And when I began my walk, my cell phone, it had about 20% battery life on it. Now, this cell phone, this was a Samsung Galaxy 2. Not the same one I had, but a different one. Now, as I'm walking... Now, I'm, going to, I'm walking about three miles in about five degrees, zero degrees temperature. You know, it's pretty frigid out. And I'm walking, and I get lost when I'm walking. Now, you know, nothing emergency. It's in a city, but I'm trying to get to a library from where I'm at. And I made a wrong turn in the beginning of the walk, which made the library, you know, much further where I was getting. But as I was walking, my cell phone the battery started to keep on decreasing. It went from like 20 to 19 to 18, and I wasn't using it. And because of the cold, the battery actually lost battery. It went all the way down to zero, and it died. Not because I was using it. In, in the time span of probably like half an hour, you know, it went from 20% battery all the way to dying. Now, you know, when I did make it to a restaurant, and I was you know, had coffee, and I was warming up, you know, like one to two percent of the battery came back, but you know, it never restored back to the twenty percent that it was. Now I'm making, I'm bringing this point up because temperature does play a role on the battery. You know, at least frigid, cold temperature does. You know, five zero degrees, five degrees. You know, it's so cold that it impacts the battery life. Now in Panama, you know, where you know that fort, that that trail, the, the where Chris Kremers and Liz Sanfron were, you know, I, I've heard it called a, a, a cloud forest before. And when I think of cloud forest, I think of humility, hu humidity, humidity. You know, I this isn't like lab environment. This is like a outside environment where you have it's probably muggy, humility, humidity. You know, temperatures a little not the same as it would be in a lab. Someone in a lab took the same phones that Lucy Ann Frone and Chris Kremers had, and they said, yeah, you know, technically the battery life will last for nine or ten days. But I'm not asking whether, whether it lasts that long in a lab. In the environment that they were, has it ever been tested that those cell phones would have lasted as long as they did? Just my experience with cell phones and you're walking, and, and you're you, even if you do turn them off and on, just turning it off and on, use, just turning it, just having it turn back on, you know, uses battery. So the idea that one phone that started with 50% and one phone I think had 48% battery that would last for seven, eight days, that doesn't seem very likely to me. It doesn't, but see, that's based on my experience. And you know, I had, as I said, I had one phone that went from 20% all the way down to turning off, having 0% in the span of 20 minutes because it was cold. And I wonder if a phone that was 50% or 48%, now the iPhone, they can last a bit longer. My wife has an iPhone and it's an older iPhone, and it, but still the battery life is pretty good. My Samsung Galaxy, the battery life is not very good. I have to charge it a lot. And I'm just thinking with my phone, I'm not sure it, it would have been able to do the feat that, lit, that 
I, I think Lysanne Frome was the one that had the galaxy. I don't think my galaxy could have done what her galaxy did in that environment. See, people, they test theories. They test whether an object can work in a certain way in a laboratory or in a basic environment atmosphere. Friends, this isn't that type of atmosphere. I mean, you're on the go, whether your phone is in the bag or in your pocket. I mean, that's going to wear on your phone. The humidity is going to wear on the phone. The extra heat you're going to generate from walking, that's going to wear on the phone. If the phone gets wet, that's going to wear on the phone. You have all these things that's going to wear on the phone from environmental factors. And just, you know, being in Denmark and, and just saying, okay, well, I'm just going to see if my phone will last. And, and trying to do the same, trying to use your phone the same way that the phones were documented, the phones were used with Lisa and Throne and Chris Kremers. That doesn't work. You had to be on that location. Locations matter. So I'd like your feedback. I mean, do you think it's odd that a, two phones that began with less or less than half battery life would actually last as long as they did? I and mean, we're not talking one day. We're not talking two days. We're not talking three days. We're not talking four days. We're not talking five days. We're not talking six days. We're not talking seven days. We're talking eight days. Eight days. Or was it nine days? Eight or nine, nine days without being charged, beginning with 48 to 50 percent battery. I do not see that happening. If you're if you're in a cloud force, I think there's elements of being on the go. I think there's elements of getting wet. I think there's elements of even heat. If you're in a cloud force, like they were on that trail, where it, environmental factors have a way of sucking out your battery. And I'd like to have your input. So anyway, thank you very much and take care.